uh, in local government for 32 years. And this is the first time that I've ever appeared before the Zoning Board of Appeals. And after tonight, you'll probably hope I go another 32 years. <laughs> I think it's 32 years. I, I'm getting so old, maybe I, I've appeared and I've forgotten about it. I just wanted to make three or four comments. Um, uh, we have worked on this issue as well, and I think that when all is said and done for us, the fundamental issue here isn't about whether Mr. Corey, who I don't know but who I understand, is an incredibly decent individual coming from an, uh, a nice family. That's not the issue here. The issue here is that this is not the right location for this operation. Unfortunately, where he is right now makes much more sense than what's being proposed. It might not make sense for Mr. Corey or for his business, but it's a lot better for the residents and the citizens of the town of Barnstable who we're here to protect. The first issue of the schools, the reason the issue of the schools came up is in one of the earlier uh, hearings, there was a representation that two employees of the school uh, department, and I believe it was a principal and an assistant principal, if I'm not mistaken, uh, were quoted as saying that they didn't have problems uh, with this operation. Those people weren't speaking for the superintendent, and those people were not speaking for the school committee. The school superintendent did not know that there were requests being made of her employees, which is rather an odd commentary since the brother of, of uh, Attorney Butler is the chief counsel for the school superintendent. But more importantly, the school committee didn't know. Now, all of you know, as I do, that the school committee sets policy for the schools. And they actually, because of the representation, uh, intended or unintended, that the schools did not have a problem with this, was the genesis of the school committee taking a vote. Now, we can sit here tonight and try to second guess whether they had all of the information available or whatever, but that is, that is insulting. Our hardworking, dedicated school committee is represented by 47,000 of our residents. I think they know what's in the best interest of our youngsters. At least they try to. Uh, so that's the issue of the schools. The issue of the local survey. We're one of the few towns that conduct a local survey. And rather remarkably, in all of the years that we've done the survey, the number one issue on the minds of Barnstable residents in terms of what detracts our citizenry from loving this community is traffic congestion. And as your town manager, the question that I get the most is when are you going to start doing something about traffic congestion? Now, folks like Mr. Norman and others can say, well, you can't blame one person. It's been going on for years. Uh, it's not his fault. You've got to start somewhere. And we started recently with Berkshire Circuit City. And because of the, the, the uh, pressure put on by the town, including you, the approval that was granted most recently was a far superior proposal because it had... Uh, mitigating uh, circumstances in terms of traffic mitigation. They are undeveloping the Chili's parcel. And so what is it here? Can you honestly say that the residents are going to be better off from a traffic standpoint with this operation going in? You can't say that. I mean, maybe I'm the only resident in the town of Barnstable that in my long lifetime have gone to a package store having had one or two beers. You don't think that happens? This is going to be a package store. So the attorney for the applicant suggests, oh, you can't talk about that. That's for the licensing board. You can talk about anything you want to talk about. This is going to be a package store. That's going to create a dangerous situation. The last point is uh, Mr. Schofield. I don't know Mr. Schofield. I've met him a few times. I knew his mother. But who's speaking for him? That's the family home. That's his family home. So what are they going to do? They're going to give him a fence and a few tulips and a few bushes. Who's speaking for Mr. Schofield? The answer should be you. You should be speaking for Mr. Schofield. That's a resident 
That's his family homestead. And we're going to put a package store right next to it? Who's speaking for the Greek church? Who's speaking for the affordable housing development that we put in across the street? Who's speaking for the middle school? I'll tell you who. You. Do the right thing. This is not the right place for this operation, and you know it. Thank you, Mr. Clinton. Mr. Clinton, before you step down from the podium, if I could just ask, 